the Columbus Crew have earned their third star after winning the 2023 MLS Cup 2-1 over LAFC. Hats off to LAFC. They put up a tremendous fight in the second half. Really made a match out of it after the Crew had their foot on the gas in the first half. But again, LAFC showing tremendous fight throughout the remainder of the match. And it wasn't a perfect, it wasn't a perfect one for the Crew, but... As far as I'm concerned, who cares as long as the proper result is reached, and it certainly was tonight. Year one of the Wilfred Nancy era for Columbus could not have gone any better. Despite some ups and downs throughout the regular season and in the playoffs as well, they caught fire at the best of moments. Starting in that second half against Cincinnati on the brink of death, down 2-0. Somehow you snatch a victory from there. Then the first half of this match back at Lower.com with the Nordeka support kind of carried the momentum from the second half and extra time against Cincinnati where the crew were very dominant to start this match off. And at first I was getting a little worried that all the possession wasn't really leading to a quick goal where we've seen these kind of matches from the crew before where they dominate possession, they get more shots, they look good in all the metrics, but the other the, the other club goes out and they, they capitalize on opportunities and you're looking at the scoreboard and, and you're down. But then a Rossi possession in the box led to a handball, giving Columbus a penalty kick and Cucho went up from there. Who else would they trust in that position? And he would bury it just as the 33rd minute would start. 1-0 Columbus. Then the crew would strike again while the iron was still hot. Amundsen making a great pass to find a streaking Yaboa. Not, not like the naked streaking, but like streaking down the pitch Yaboa. He won his one-on-one -on -one with the keeper to put the crew up 2-0. Despite an end-of-the-half scare, that was how the score would remain as the teams would go into the, lo into the locker room after the first half. But the second half was a much different story than the first. The crew got some looks early, including another good chance for Yaboa. But LAFC quickly made it clear that they were not going to go down quite so easily. They started getting better on the attack. Schulte having to put in a lot of extra work. And eventually the dam did break for Columbus. No fault to Schulte on the goal against. He made an amazing initial save. Just nobody there to make a clearing attempt on the follow-up. And after the goal for LAFC, Schulte would remain down for a bit of a long time. Looked like he might have to lead, but leave the game. But instead, he would stay in. Made sure to pump up the crowd as well. And he was able to finish what he started. Although, again, at that point, the nerves were going super high because we just saw the crew make a comeback from down 2-0 in their match against Cincinnati. And so, seeing that kind of hap that, that the, the timeline in which that happens to the crew the very next week in the MLS Cup was definitely starting to look more and more like a reality. Stoppage time, especially nerve-wracking, was a very, very long seven minutes to get through. But eventually, the final whistle did sound and the celebration could begin with the victory secured. And the best part just had to be the trophy presentation, not just for, you know, the team getting to hoist the cup in Columbus and all that good stuff, but it also meant that the crew fans and the Nordeka and all the and, and the Save the Crew people got another opportunity to shower MLS Commissioner Don Garber with booze on a national stage. Just a beautiful symphony in motion. I know soccer isn't everyone's thing, but, you know, if that match didn't get you excited to watch the sport, then I, I guess nothing will in terms of, of, of how you view soccer. Definitely a wild season for the crew. Couldn't have ended in a better way. And just an exciting exciting time for the team in general. Just a short video just to congratulate the crew, obviously, on their victory. Onwards and upwards from here on out. I guess the only issue with the, the non-Sierra now is that there's nowhere else to go but down. But that's not really an issue. That's just a really, really good problem to have. That'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching if you didn't make it this far. Uh, throughout th through this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and you'd like to see more like it you can let me know how you how you felt about this win down in the comments below if you're a crew fan i'm sure i'm sure it's pretty good uh, but once again thank you for watching i will see you at the next one